135 videos later, I have finally reached 100 subscribers. Like yeah, 100 subscribe, 101 subscribers after 135 videos. It's pretty cool to imagine that I reached this incredible goal after so long. Like after almost four years of uploading videos. So yeah, in order in order to thank you guys and to celebrate 100 subscribers on my channel, I'm going to be making I'm going to be doing this Q and A video today. So yeah, these are questions that were asked by you guys, and I'm going to answer them. So yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like and also subscribe as well to help me reach to my next goal of 200 subscribers. So yeah, let's get started. What inspired you to start a YouTube channel? So what inspired me was that when I was in sixth grade, right? I noticed a lot of other kids in my class and overall in my school had some YouTube channels going on. I was like, hey, that sounds pretty interesting, actually. I'm like, maybe I should start a channel. So yeah, I was gonna originally make Lego stop motion videos because I used to be obsessed with Lego for some reason. But eventually I went on to gaming videos and yeah, that's how it got started. Who is your favorite YouTuber or YouTubers? I actually have three favorite. Well, I like all YouTubers, but I have three favorite. I have PewDiePie, Laserbeam, and Fresh as my top three favorite YouTubers. What do you like to do outside of YouTube videos? Well, if quarantine wasn't a thing, I'd be either swimming or I'd be riding my bike around my neighborhood. These are my two favorite things to do outdoors. What's your favorite meme? My favorite meme is... <coughs> What's your favorite plane? Looks like this guy's seen my infinite flight videos. But yeah, if you guys are wondering what my favorite plane is, I like most of the planes, right? But if I had to choose, I'd either pick the Boeing 777X or a Boeing 747. What's your favorite place you've flown to in infinite flight? So you guys probably know I've flown quite a few routes, right, in infinite flight. But if I had to choose, the one I'd pick is the longest flight in the world, which was operated by Singapore Airlines from New York, New Jersey, Singapore. This is act this is actually considered still one of the longest flights in the world. Also, it performed pretty well for my channel. Got 231 views, which is pretty insane. I mean, most of you probably know, right? Like Qantas is working on another flight, which could beat Singapore Airlines in the longest flight. It's pretty much a flight from London to Sydney. Like, if you guys want me to fly that route in infinite flight, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well. When did you start your YouTube channel? So I started my channel on September 16th, 2016. So yeah, my first video I ever uploaded on my channel was called Lego Store Heist. It's pretty much the stop motion video of two Lego men who want to rob the Lego store. But the alarm goes off and yeah, the police come and arrest them and stuff. Honestly, believe it or not, I actually was going to make stop motion videos instead of gaming. Because this was my original idea, but the reason I went into gaming was stop motion takes a lot of time to make all right guys like if you guys do not know stop motion takes either hours or days to make a video so that's why i went into gaming i found it a bit easier to record top three favorite games all right guys if i had to choose top three favorite games first would be fortnite then minecraft and then infinite flight on a scale of one to ten how good do you think you are at fortnite to be honest i'm gonna have to put myself at a six Cause I'm not too good at Fortnite, but I'm also not too bad either. Like at least I can defeat bots. I'm not. I'm pretty okay, I guess. Do you have any tips for anyone who's starting a YouTube channel? So I don't really have that many tips, cause I'm not like, cause I'm only at 100 subscribers. But if you guys do really want any good tips, one tip I would say is you don't really have to have the best equipment to start a YouTube channel. And you also don't need a lot of money to start one as well. Like all, like you could start off with basic stuff as well. Like. I don't know about vlogging or like how-to channels or other stuff, but if you want to start a gaming channel, I'll, I, I'd recommend just having like a basic device to play games on and record. Like I'd say having a console is good enough, or maybe even like an iPhone or an iPad or something. That's pretty good to start a channel off with. Is it expensive to run a YouTube channel? So in my opinion, it, do, it really depends on what kind of channel you're running. Like. If you're running a gaming channel, it, it might not be that expensive. While if you're doing like a vlogging channel or like any other type of channel, I'd recommend buying like a better equipment, like a better camera or something. Like, I'm not really sure. I'm not really much of a vlogger. I'm more of a gaming channel. But yeah, if you guys want me to make a tips and tricks video on how to run a gaming channel, then yeah, you guys can leave a subscribe to my channel as well. I can make an entire new video on that. Which is your favorite plane, 737 or A320? 
I'm, I'm personally gonna go with the Airbus A320 because what I really like about it is a bit high it's a bit higher off the ground so it makes it a bit easier to get a smoother landing bit compared to a 737 which is a bit lower to the ground but they're both pretty good planes though however which is your favorite plane Boeing 777 or Airbus A350 okay they're both really good planes I'm actually not sure what to go with this one but yeah you guys can leave your uh, plane of choice down below Boeing 777 or A350 I'm not really sure I like both they're both pretty good planes I'm not I'm not even sure what to pick I'm just gonna go with both I like both of them what is your favorite Fortnite skin Jinji that's right guys Jinji is my favorite Fortnite skin how are you so good at Fortnite? This is a question asked by Turbo Gamer. You guys should actually go check his channel out. He makes some pretty good content over there. And he also gave me a shout out once. So yeah, thank you so much for the shout out. And a huge shout out goes to you. So your answer to my to your question, how how are you so good at Fortnite? I don't really know. I guess if you just play it a lot, practice, you'll get better eventually. What's your favorite game genre? Okay, for this one, I'm going to have to go with Battle Royale and Racing Games. What is the first game console you have ever owned? The first game console I've ever owned is the Xbox 360. So yeah, I actually had a lot of good memories for the Xbox 360, but now I have the Xbox One S. I mean, I still have my Xbox 360 with me. Like, I, I, I didn't want to give it away. I still have it with me. But yeah, I haven't played with I haven't played on it in a while. But yeah, I used to play a lot of Kinect games. Which are pretty much those uh, motion sensor games. Like there's Kinect Sports, which you pretty much play sports with, right? It's not like a controller game. You just do the movements. Like as if you're playing baseball, right? You pretend you're swinging the bat with your hand. And yeah, the character will do it for you in the game. It's pretty fun. What is the first video game you remember playing? Kinect Adventure. Because this was a game that came with the Xbox 360. So yeah, I was talking about Kinect before, right? So yeah, Connect Adventures was also a pretty fun game that came with the Xbox 360. And not only that, I also got Forza Motorsport 4 with the Xbox 360 as well. So yeah, because of these two games, that's how I got started with gaming in general. Like, I used to do it just as a hobby, but then once I started my channel, I'm like, okay, I want to be famous. I want to earn money off gaming as well. Because gaming is something I really love to do. And I also love making videos for you guys. So yeah, pretty much the Xbox 360 in general is the reason I got my start into gaming. How long does it take to edit a video? So yeah, this really depends on how much time you record your video for or how long you want it to be. But from my personal experiences, it's either taking me a few minutes, a few hours, or maybe even a few days just to edit one single video. So yeah, it really depends from your experience, like what type of video you make or how long you record it for or how long you want it to be. It really depends, guys. What editing software do you use? So currently, I'm editing my videos on iMovie because in my opinion, it's one of the most easiest softwares for anyone to learn who's just starting off with a YouTube channel. Well, I've been using iMovie since day one, actually, and I still kind of like it. Even though there's better editing softwares out there, I still prefer iMovie because I find it a bit easier and uh, more user friendly as well. On what game have you spent the most money on? Alright, to be honest, I think a lot of people have done this one before. Fortnite, because let's face it, you need V-Bucks to buy skins and stuff, right? So yeah, pretty much V-Bucks are the biggest thing I've spent money on in games. What device do you play Fortnite on? I play Fortnite on a 6th generation iPad. What is one thing you want most? Alright, so one thing I really want the most in my life is I've won a million subscribers. Like, I want, I, want, I want a lot of subscribers on my channel. And maybe even like a sports car, like a Ferrari or a Lambo or something. That'd be pretty interesting. What's your biggest fear? Bees. That's right, guys. Bees are my biggest fear because ever since I was a little kid, I've always been afraid of bees. Like, I've heard stories that when they sting you, it hurts a lot, right? I mean, I've never been stung by a bee in my life, but I've had some close calls though, like when I used to play outside with my friends, like I've, I've seen quite a few bees before and I've also almost been stung by them, but luckily I was fine and I've never been stung. So that's why I'm actually afraid of bees. So our last and final question of today is, what are your goals for your channel in the future? So honestly, I'm not really sure. Like my goals are to get grow my channel, get a lot of views, get a lot of subscribers 
maybe even apply for monetization like i have a lot of goals for my channel like i really want to see it grow i, I, I want to get a million subscribers that's pretty much my uh, goal to get a million subscribers on my channel so yeah this is gonna be the end of today's q a guys once again, this is a Q&A special for 100 subscribers. So yeah, I'd like to thank you guys so, so much for 100 subscribers. So yeah, thanks to you guys also for uh, submitting these questions for the 100 subscriber Q&A special. I really enjoyed answering these questions. And uh, also, if you guys want to give me some feedback and stuff, you guys can leave it down in the comments. And yeah, you guys can please support my channel by subscribing and also leaving a like. Because I want to get to my next subscriber goal of 200 subs really fast. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.